there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Freiburg, Germany. And today we're going to talk about how you could upset Germans when you come here as a traveler, because we want to make sure we're ingratiating ourselves with the locals, and we don't want to do the faux pas that might make our German friends a bit ärgerlich, a little upset. Okay, and I think the first thing you need to realize, the first way you can upset a German, is just being late. Germans are all about being punktlich, about being on time. If you have a meeting and it's at nine o'clock in the morning, that doesn't mean you show up at nine. That means you're in the office, you're in the room where the meeting's gonna happen at 8.55, so right at 9 a.m., the questions start going, okay? So always be on time. And if you're gonna be late, let the people know because um, one, they're, they're not gonna be appreciative that you're late, but they will wanna know what's going on. Now, another thing that might upset your German friends is if you get a little Yiny, okay, which I like to say is yine is yes and no, ja and nein put together, okay? It's kind of like, yeah, no, I'm not sure. Look, Germans do not like uncertainty. They do not like risk. They want to know what's going on. They want the certainty of are you coming or not? And if you're kind of flippy floppy, if you're thinking about ghosting your German friends, that stuff doesn't happen here, okay? You need to be more be like, Yes, I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to not. Because if you're not, that kind of upsets them because they want to make sure all their plans are set, okay? And I think one of the things that's important for you to know is since the Germans are very direct, they're not insulted if you're direct to them. So if you don't want to do something or you can't do something, don't try to figure out an excuse. Just let them know, hey, I can't come and they'll be okay with that. But just telling them yes and then not showing up, the whole ghosting thing, not cool here in Germany, okay? So have a heads up. Now the third way you can upset Germans when you're here is if you assume that everybody in Germany is from Bavaria and wears lederhosen. Look, people wear lederhosen at Oktoberfest and most of those are actually tourists, okay? Germany is a very diverse country. I mean, going to Munich and Bavaria is a very different experience than going to Hamburg or coming here to Freiburg or going to Berlin. You have such variety in this country that when they think that people are thinking they're all the same and they're all Bavarians with the big beer steins and stuff, that doesn't go over very well. And if you actually know Germans, you'll know that if they're not from Bavaria, they like to make fun of the Bavarians. Now, another thing that tourists do that might upset the locals and it definitely will upset a few omas, grandmas, and opas, grandpas along the way is if you jaywalk. And when I talk about jaywalking, I'm not saying like the middle of the road. I'm saying when you're at the crosswalk and the little Empfenmännchen, the, the, the streetlight guy is there telling you don't walk and you go. I mean, I live in Germany for a number of years and when I've done that, like people really put their arm out and stop me and they're like, what are you doing? Sein Vorbild für die Kinder. Be an example for the children. I'm like, there's no kids around here. There's no cars. What's going on? No. Follow the rules. Otherwise, they're going to be upset. And, and, and crossing the street against the light is one of those things. There's even a saying, By Holt musst du stehen. By Grün darfst du gehen. Which is, by red, you have to stay. But by green, you're allowed to go. All right? So just know that. Young, old, male, female, whatever. You just know the Germans are like, no, no, we're going to wait until the light lets us go, okay? Another thing that might upset your German friends when you're here, and this is one thing that my students that have studied in Germany have brought up to me, and when I've had students that work with German exchange students, and, and that is, you might upset them if you don't agree with them on certain things, because Germans like to do a lot of research. They want to make sure they know as much as they can before they make decisions, so they feel that they have the best answer possible. And if you don't agree with them, they don't understand why you wouldn't because they've done all this research. So that's where I've seen in business settings and group project settings where people have gotten some upset feelings from both the Germans and from the locals. So just have a heads up with that. But don't think the Germans are all stiff and, 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 and no fun. They will do parties. They will have a fun time with the party. And one thing I want to tell you, though, is uh, you might upset people if you don't follow the party rules, OK? Because if your German friend of yours invites you to a party, they're inviting you. Not you and your friend and your other friends. No, no. It's very much just you are invited. There's no plus one. If you want a plus one, you need to ask them. And they'll probably say no, OK, or nine. Um, but just know that they're very specific when they do ask you to come to a party, okay? So, so don't overdo it. Also, I learned this when I lived here for a number of years is if you're going to be having a party, let's say you're staying here, you're going to school here, you're moving here, and you want to have a party and it's in your apartment building, you need to let your neighbors know that you're going to have that party. I mean, you don't have to invite them, but you need to let them know it's going to happen. Otherwise, they might be a little upset, which I learned uh, from a lady dumping a bucket of water into my apartment. So just have a heads up on that one. Now, another time you might see an upset German, and this isn't your fault at all, this is their fault, is if you're taking a train on a Friday or a Sunday when they're really, really busy and you have a seat reservation and you go to your seat reservation on the ICE and somebody's sitting in that seat and you tell them, uh, Entschuldigung, das ist meines, das ist meins. Like, excuse me, this is mine. 
oh, they're not going to be happy because they got this seat and they're figuring no one's going to show up in it. So they're going to take it without a reservation. Don't be surprised if they ask you to show your reservation to prove it's your seat. And then they'll look at you like, oh, you took my seat. No, lady, didn't take your seat. I spent the four euros to get the reservation, all right? So uh, do have a heads up for that. Now, sometimes you don't even realize you're upsetting people when you travel, and that's okay. And the Germans have a fantastic way of letting you know that you messed up. And that's when you hear, hallo. When you hear someone say hello really loud, I mean, if it's soft, it's hello, it's like hello. But if it's hello, it's like hello, moron, you're doing something wrong. Whether you went in the wrong door to the museum or you're in the wrong bathroom or you're, you're doing something you're not supposed to or your kids are doing something stupid. Look, that hello will let you know that you upset somebody, all right? So just have a heads up when you hear that because you'll be like, what, what, what's something here? It's just a way they get your attention, all right? Now, another thing you might do that might hurt your German friend's feelings is insinuate that they're cheap. Now, Germans are cool if you say they're frugal, they're economical, no problem with that. But if you insinuate that they're cheap, that's when they're like, hey, I'm, I'm, we're not cheap, we, we, we've got money. I'm like, I know, I know. But the thing is, is if you talk to, you know, in Canada and the US, you talk to waiters about tipping, they don't like German tourists because they don't tip as well. Now, they leave some money, but they don't usually, usually leave the 50 to 20% like you're supposed to. They'll leave like 5% or $3 on a $100 bill, you know? So it is one of those things that if you insinuate like, dude, that's kind of cheap, you'll see them be upset. And I'm sure in the comments below, you, you'll see those things there. Or you might invite them over to a party, like, hey, you know, we're all bringing a potluck over, bring some food, and they might show up from, with some Maggi spaghetti instead of something else. So don't, don't, don't insinuate they're cheap. It won't go over well, all right? Just say, very economical choice, very frugal choice, smart business move, okay? So have a heads up with that. Now, another thing that you'll learn very quickly is a way you're gonna upset your German friends is if you try to take their food or their drink. Because you know in some countries when you order food, like everybody's food's kind of everybody else's and we can try this. Like we're in Italy, like, oh, try this, have some of this, have some of this polenta. Portugal, it's like every plate is everybody's, right? In Germany, it's not that way. That's my bratwurst, that is my spetzo, that is my beer, you don't get it. And so if you go and take some, especially without asking, it's gonna upset them. And even if you do ask, they say yes, just know in their mind, they're like, ich will den nein sagen. I wanted to say no, but they were very polite and said yes. So just know, they don't, they don't like sharing their stuff, okay? If you've gotten this far in the video, another thing you might notice that Germans might not like and that you might upset them with is if you point out any of the eccentricities of the Germans and German culture. So look in the comments below and you'll notice some comments of people like pointing out some things I'm messing up and how they're gonna be right about it, okay? Now, another way you might upset Germans when you come here is if you recycle wrong. I mean, I lived here a number of years and the recycle program here is legit. The Grüne Punkt, it's like this little like arrow going around, it's called the Green Point. They have lots and lots of different kinds of recycling here. So it's not just paper and plastic, it's paper, plastic, glass, different kinds of glass, all kinds of stuff that's out there. They have that set up and people are very serious about it. So you wanna make sure you're putting the right stuff in the right recycle bin and the right garbage going in the right place because they do a really good job with that. And it really upsets people when you don't. And there's things economically that will get you to incentivize you to make sure recycling correctly because they have these things called a fund, a deposit like on beer glasses and, or sorry, yeah, beer glasses, but like beer bottles and soda bottles and stuff like that. So you don't just throw it away, you take it back, get your money back so they can recycle it easier, okay? So be aware of that one. Now, my next one for you that might upset the Germans when you're here is if you drive in Germany, not like a German. Look, Germans are very much, we're about our auto, our car, right? And so they've got the Autobahn when they're going way faster than you think you are. So move over, because you staying in the left lane, that Indiana drivers, you can't do that here in Germany. You gotta stay to the right, because people will pass you by. No matter how fast you think you're going, someone else is gonna zoom past you in a Porsche, a BMW, or Mercedes, all right? And the Germans do get upset when people don't drive the German way when they're here. So I do recommend maybe take a class about driving or watch some videos on driving in Germany before you come, because then you'll be better prepared and less likely to upset and get, not necessarily road rage, but just upset Germans driving next to you. And also uh, don't expect a really good cup holder for your, your big gulp in a German car. And they don't understand why, okay? So, so leave that there, all right? And then I wanna finish off by another thing that really upsets Germans, and that is, if you make Nazi jokes, okay, 
the Nazi, the history of Germany and the Nazi National Socialist Party that was in power here for a number of years and World War II and the Holocaust and everything is a horrible, it is a stain on the world history, not just German history, but the world's history. And if you make light of that, you make Nazi jokes, you make Hitler jokes and stuff like that, that does not go over well here. People do not like that. That is that is something that they're ashamed of themselves. And, and you may think you're, oh, it's a fun joke. I'm poking fun at things. It's not. It is not something that you joke about when you are here, okay? Because that will upset the locals, and I just want you to know that, all right? So those are some ways that you might upset your German friends when you're here in Germany, but what are some ways you've accidentally upset some of your German friends? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, I have another video on how Germans get upset when they travel to the U.S., which is kind of a fun play on this video to give it from the other perspective when they go to the U.S. Anyway, I wish you all the best. I'll say bye from here in Freiburg.